I've always wanted to be able to be in a position to take care of my children um, as my mom didn't take care of us. I experienced a lot of different things that children my age couldn't have experienced. Parents were both drug addicts. Um, my four brothers and myself were placed in foster care. My two sisters lived with my grandmother. I was working at a girls group home as a uh, direct care staff. The agency shut down. I was a live-in. That left me and my son without a place. You know, um, I'm really not attached to family, no family support, so I really couldn't rely on anyone to help me get on my feet. So I just moved from Statesville to Durham, IHN. Um, I actually looked them up in a phone book and just prayed to God that this was going to be something that, you know, would work out for me. And coming to IHN has definitely worked wonders for me. I really like the idea of the Interfaith Hospitality Network because working in juvenile court, I saw the effects of homelessness. And I knew that it was important to keep families together if possible, and that's what IHN does. So we started working with the families or meeting the families when they came to our church. Um, and that's how we met Syria. A church would sponsor us weekly. So every week we had to go to a new church. Aldersgate was one of the churches that I really liked because they had a lot of activities for the kids, for myself to get into. One, one of the things, you, you know the, the overall idea of IHN is you give f food and shelter to families. But we also really take it pretty seriously that if we can make these people you know, give them some little oasis of happiness and joy while they're in this situation that they're in, that we've really done our job. My shoulders, Just relax. <laughs> they even sponsored my baby shower. Even after I had got out of IHN, Miss Susan, she put together a baby shower for me. Members that I don't even know came to the baby shower, presented me with absolute wonderful gifts. After IHN, they helped me get into uh, an apartment. I think I was like maybe four or five months pregnant, but I was really huge with my daughter. I even actually um, got connected with Miss Olive Joyner. I work at Durham IHN as contract labor. I was a director there for two years, and what I found was that, you know, families come into the program, they're allowed to stay for three months, and that's not nearly enough to guarantee that they're going to be okay once they leave. So for me, I was really thrilled when I heard that IHM was going to start an alumni support program. Syria was one of the first persons I met, actually. I think I got about eight clients, or they like to give it another name, consumer. I call them my friends. You know, I was, I was pregnant when I met her. I was frustrated, scared, you know, what am I going to do? Joy really didn't have any. I was just so focused on the task at hand. She came, she, she was like a, a breath of fresh air. Personally, I don't do boundaries because changes don't happen in boundary settings. Uh, people who have not had family, what they want is family. What they want is security. What they want is community that they can trust, that they can be real. And they usually can tell the difference between, are you doing your job? Or are you really vested in me? She's, she's definitely filled that void of, of, um, of a sister slash mom. Miss, Miss Olive will definitely be someone that I, I, I carry on throughout life, I carry with me throughout life. Miss Haven. When I think about, you know, the first time I called Interfaith Hospitality Network, I look at that as being one of the most vital decisions I could have ever made. These women who come through our program are so much tougher, I believe, than I could be. And that's one of the things that impressed me about Syria, is her, her faith and what a good mother she is. Thank you, Mommy. We always get so much more than we give. I'm self-sufficient. You know, I, I am that woman that I've always wanted to be, that strong, independent, reliable woman and my life now is is well on its way.